climate change and entrepreneurship. Our Pakistan-U.S. alumni net network now consists of more than 44,000 members across 14 chapters in Pakistan, the largest in the world. And these people-to-people -people programs help ensure the economic ties we are building rest on a solid foundation of mutual understanding and appreciation. The U.S. Embassy in Pakistan spends more than $20 million annually to support academic exchange opportunities for Pakistanis, including our prestigious Humphrey and Fulbright programs. We've provided more than $30 million to support 34 university partnerships between the U.S. and Pakistani institutions of higher education. We've established four centers for advanced studies in energy, water, and agriculture that are generating the applied research and innovation needed to help solve Pakistan's most pressing development challenges. Another aspect of our work is the continued commitment to preserving Pakistan's rich cultural heritage, which has supported 35 cultural preservation projects nationwide since 2001. Through the Ambassador's Fund for Cultural Preservation and other grants, we have supported the conservation of Gandhara archaeological treasures, the preservation of Mughal architectural heritage, such as the Wazir Khan Mosque, the restoration of Sufi shrines and Hindu monuments, such as the Hazrat Shah Shams de Reis and Barn Dev, and supported the preservation of Buddhist monasteries, such as Takhtiwa. These investments speak to the long history and depth of the U.S. Pakistan of the U.S. Pakistan relationship and our commitment to Pakistan's people and its future. At the same time, it's imperative that the United States and Pakistan continue working together to advance our shared goals of regional and global peace, stability, and security. We must remain resolute in our fight against terrorism, and the United States and Pakistan share this understanding. Both our countries and our people have paid heavy costs due to terrorism, and we commend Pakistan for its decades of cooperation in fighting terrorism, whether from TTP or other non-traditional security threats. The United States has provided more than $1 billion to Pakistan's federal and provincial institutions for justice and security projects over the past 40 years. Such initiatives have provided life-saving equipment to law enforcement, improved security infrastructure, and train police, prosecutors, and judges around the country. These programs also help incorporate more women into the justice sector, building trust and access to often marginalized populations. We continue to look for opportunities to build this capacity and improve Pakistan's capabilities to counter the threats it faces. Pakistan and the United States share the goal of protecting refugees and asylum seekers and facilitating the efficient resettlement of eligible Afghans to the United States. We've been in close coordination with the Pakistani government on this important issue, and we continue to work together in good faith. Just as important, we continue to advocate for upholding the rights of all Pakistanis, especially the freedoms of expression, assembly, and worship that are guaranteed in the country's laws and constitution. Protecting human rights for all is not just a fundamental pillar of a democracy, it's a critical component of a vibrant and stable society, drawing on the talents and contributions of all its citizens for the country's benefits. And without such stability, the prospects for investment and economic growth appear far less certain. In closing, I want to emphasize this fact. Uh, we stand stronger together. And having been here as the U.S. Ambassador in Pakistan for more than two years, it's even clearer to me that our countries must come even closer if the world is going to begin solving the challenges that I've outlined. I see one immediate opportunity to do just that. As you likely know, Pakistan will assume a seat on the UN Security Council starting next year. This 10 years is an important opportunity for the United States and Pakistan to work together on all of these issues. Pakistan is uniquely positioned to be a bridge at the UN given its positive relationships within the region and with other members of the Security Council. And Pakistan's voice deserves to be heard. And the US looks forward to working with its representatives to strengthen regional stability and promote human rights and religious freedom for everyone. As I said at the beginning of my remarks, this relationship is vital and it has endured. And I trust it will continue to do so in the years ahead as we build on what we've accomplished and identify new areas for cooperation on these shared objectives. 
Uh, thank you for your time, and I hope the conference discussions are fruitful.